In this video, we'll see how to use the binomial distribution calculator provided in the Experience 5 page. So, on the Experience 5 page, if you scroll down to below the syntax and notation document, you'll see a link for the binomial distribution calculator. Go ahead and click on that to open up the site. And we can get a nice graph. We just need to provide the numbers for n and p, and then certain x values, and decide where we want the shaded area. So let's look at a problem that we can use to get a graph. I'm going to go to chapter 4, page 239, and we're going to do try it example 414. According to a Gallup poll, 60% of Americans prefer saving over spending. X is the number of adults out of a random sample of 50 who prefer saving to spending. What is the probability distribution for X? All right, so we can identify here that N is 50 and P is 60% or 0.6. Let's put those numbers in. N is 50 and P is 0.6. That gets us a graph of the distribution as a whole. Now, to identify certain shaded areas of this, we know the area altogether is 1. Um, certain shaded areas to find certain probabilities, we need to specify what range of x values we're looking at. Uh, so if you look at B, uh, say, what's the probability that 25 adults in the sample prefer saving over spending? Then we can just look at twenty-five, twenty-five. Right? And then you see that the bar at 25 is highlighted, and we get the probability there. Uh, say you wanted to know the probability that at most 20 adults prefer saving. So at most 20 would be below 20. So we click on below and put in 20 and hit recalculate. And you can look closely, there's a tiny little red spot there. Um, so that is including the part that's below 20. And it's a very small probability, but there it is. Glass, the probability that more than 30 adults prefer saving. So more than 30 means above 30. So click on above, change it to 30, hit recalculate, and you see the shaded area there. Now with any of these, you might want to export this in some way. So you can screenshot in various ways. There's no built-in thing to, to save this. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the snipping tool, but you can also do a standard screenshot. And I would say get the whole thing like that. And then you can save that image. And that image file is now ready to be uploaded for an assignment like you would on the application. All right, so now you know how to use that graphing tool.